Hello there. So this is my website and if I click on this CTA button, it gives me this pop-up instead of redirecting me to a new page. It looks premium and you can get this too using a free plugin. So without wasting your time, let me show you how we can set it up. To create this pop-up, we need two plugins. First, to get a pop-up widget and second, to create our customizable template. So on the WordPress dashboard, look for exclusive. This is the plugin we want. So let's install and activate it. For pop-up template, search for anywhere. Here it is. Again, let's install and activate it. To create our pop-up template, hover over AE templates on the left side and click on add new. Let's add a title to the page and then hit publish. Cool. Now click on edit with Elementor to start editing the pop-up. To design the template without theme interference, go to settings and from here, change the page layout to Elementor Canvas. Go to the library and from here, I'll choose this one. Click insert and here it is. Now let's customize it quickly. First, select the heading and change it from here. I'll do the same for other two headings real quick. Now to change the button, I'll go here and change it like this. Now go to style, choose the text color and background color like this. We'll set the border type to none. If you want an effect when you hover over the button, Go to hover, set the text color and background color the same way. I'll pick a hover animation from here and it looks pretty cool. Let's change the text color of the headings. So select the heading, go to style and choose the text color like this. I'll do the same thing for other two headings as well. Since it looks a bit plain, let's add a background image. Select the container, go to style and choose an image from the media. Then head over to the background overlay. To give some depth, I'll change the color from here and reduce its opacity like this. Okay, the texts aren't clearly visible. So let's select the heading, go to style and change the text color to white. I'll do the same for other two headings as well. The hover effect looks off, so let's go to style and change the text and background color from here. Now let's set up our pop-up. Before we move on, we need to make sure that our site is fast because adding customizations like these can slow down even a new website and drive away visitors. So I'll go to elif.net, sign up from here, enter my website URL and click continue. Elif will now optimize your site and it does everything that your site needs for a 90 plus score like caching, image optimization, lazy loading, and everything else. That's why you don't need to use multiple plugins for performance anymore. Just a lift is enough. The visual regression will also help you detect if any changes happened on your site. And in the rare occurrence, if you don't get a 90 plus speed score, you can just ping the free support here and they'll take care of it. Now, let's move on to the next step. On the WordPress dashboard, head to AE templates, and you can see the pop-up template is added here. To add this, go to Pages and click on Edit with Elementor. First, let's add a new container. Then, in the widget section, look for Model. Here it is. Let's drag and drop like this. We don't need this design, so delete the image and button icon. Now, to add our pop-up template to the website, change the type of model to short code like this. Now let's go back to the dashboard. Head to AE templates and copy the shortcode of the template from here. Then come back to Elementor and paste the shortcode like this. Next, I'll set the content width to this. Looks good to me. All right, now let's edit this button. So go to style, change the width like this. Then I'll choose a font style from here. Set the size somewhere around this and give it some font weight like this. Let's add padding to the button. 
and set it up to 10. The background color doesn't match, so let's change it. And set the border type to none. Now, I'll change the text and background color to this. We are almost done. Just go to container, change the border type to none, and then go to animations. I'll select this style and it gives me this cool pop-up effect. I'll quickly change the text to this. Okay, we don't need this extra button, so let's delete it. Now to add the pop-up animation, select the pop-up button, go to advanced, then motion effects, and in entrance animation, I'll select this animation. Great, we are done. Let's save the changes by clicking here. Let's see how it looks. Looks fine to me. Comment below if you have any doubts and I'll help you out. In this three minute video, I'll show you a free plugin to triple your site speed. You're really gonna thank me for this. So click here and I'll see you there.